Hi guys and welcome to what will hopefully be a no lag stream. Uh, I have um, absolutely no hopes it won't be, but still, uh, one can only dream, I guess. Um, so, welcome everyone uh, to Maju Map. I discovered uh, earlier today actually that I haven't ever done a live stream of the Maju Map. Uh, which is a map on the one-to-one -one scale of the Czech Republic. So I figured, let's do that. Uh, because obviously we didn't get a 139 beta for ETS today. We have already a beta for ATS 139 and I'll probably do a video on that pretty soon. Um, so, um, yeah, so we're going to do Maju instead. Uh, and we're going to have a quick look at it. Uh, I've already picked a uh, route cargo. So we're going to do 53 kilometers. This is on the one-to-one -one scale, bear that in mind. Uh, and um, yeah, the map is pretty big, although it hasn't really been updated other than for newer versions of the game since 136 and my last video review of the map. Uh, but... Of course, as I said, I haven't done a live stream, so it's about time we do that. Uh, Rip Truckers MP? <laughs> uh, not yet, Mango. Uh, I mean, even if we get a beta version, it is uh, not mandatory to update. You can still stay on 131.8. Most people will stay on 138. So uh, I don't see a Rip TMP because of a new beta version. Uh, but of course, in a month or so after the release of the beta, we will have a new version out and it's going to take some time before Trekkers MP update. Uh, Richard, welcome. Olaf, welcome. Uh, and everyone else who joined us. Thank you so much for being here. Do I like ETS too? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> Are you insane? Of course I do. What kind of question is that? <laughs> Um, what else could I say about this map? That's right, it's uh, both a free map, uh, a much shorter one, about half of the map is available as a free map. Uh, if you want all 200 kilometers, I think that still says it is, uh, you'll have to pay 16 euros. So it's a pretty expensive map, but um, still it's also a very, very nice map. <laughs> <laughs> he also <laughs> likes vodka. No, I don't. <laughs> AG, Crazy Mango, uh, Dado, English Bob, uh, Thanos, and everyone else. Thank you so much for being here. I haven't streamed in 12 days. It's about time, and I'm going to try to do better this time. Streaming today on Thursday and on Saturday is my plan. Uh, that's a very good question, Mango. Why is it called Maju? I have no idea why it's called M-A-J-O-O-O-U. I have no idea. Uh, I think I got the answer once, two years ago or something. I completely forgot about it. Uh, Zikran, do I like driving virtual trucks? Uh, more so than I like driving trucks IRL uh, maybe not strike that yes I do like it uh, yeah the, the developer is called Maju uh, that's true Olaf why is he called Maju why with a triple O I, I don't know <laughs> Maju is the sound you make when you see the price <laughs> Yes, I do like the 113H as well. When I'm gonna, oh, that's a good question. That's when I'm, am I gonna include Poland rebuilding in the combo? And the short answer is uh, once 139 is out and Promods 251 and then um, Poland rebuilding for that version of Promods, uh, there will be no updated um, road connections for. Promods, Rust Map, and Poland Rebuilding, and possibly, I uh, haven't even 
tried to combine it with my own map yet or my own combo yet so there might we might have to wait for an updated road connection to to uh, rowex as well and arias has been very clear he's not going to create a road connection in a month possibly even less than that we will all be on 139 there is no point in making a road connection for the current version of Poland rebuilding and uh, there is an older one some people claims that it works and think they have proven that by hauling for a number of hours on the map combo that's not how it works for me i need to do more tests than that and um, my guess is that not everything will work so um i'll probably stay away from creating a map combo with less than a month to go before we're all on 139 to be honest um i wish pawn rebuilding could do this kind of work a little bit faster and hopefully when uh, 139 and promos 251 or whatever they're going to call it is out it shouldn't take them that long to uh, to do the work and, and get the map ready for 139. After all, probably there's not going to be a need for any major changes on 139. Uh, that's true as well. Uh, no, I haven't tried to pierce combo. Honestly, I never watch other people's combos. I literally never do that uh, because... Uh, I don't see a point in in uh, fooling myself into believing that that is a working combo. I need to test it myself to see that I'm happy with the result before I do it. Uh, I might take a look at other map combos when I have problems like, for instance, the problem you just mentioned there about North Macedonia. Uh, I'm not sure there is an actual problem with North, North Macedonia. Uh, but I will have to take a look at that myself and I will probably take a look at what others have done uh, to come to that conclusion and saying that it doesn't work with North Macedonia. My guess is that it could very well have something to be with in what order you load those maps. Not that I know for sure, but that's my immediate response to it. <laughs> the next promos update will be 65.89. <laughs> um... What time is it? It is two minutes past six. So we are, um, I guess we're going to start by talking about the Volvo F12 I'm using here today. There's a link to the map. There's a link to the truck. There's a link to the sound in the video description. Uh, the skin is part of the truck. Why the hell did I choose Fanden Bosch? It's a Dutch company. <coughs> yes, it is. And I chose this skin simply because it was the best looking skin for the truck. Go figure. Um, 400 horsepower should be plenty to do the job. It's 6 in the morning. Uh, 10 minutes past 6. So it's a bit foggy here. And my microphone is getting in the way of of my uh, eye tracker there we go now it's working i have a new screen some of you might know this i bought a samsung widescreen curved display uh, 4k uh, although i'm only running now in 2k um, but that curved display forced me to uh, put the eye tracker a bit lower than it was sitting before and uh, both the microphone and the steering wheel kind of gets in the way of it so uh, <laughs> um, yeah uh, it's something I need to try to figure out how to solve uh, for this map I do not use any uh, traffic mods, graphics mods, uh, or anything. It's just a map, this truck mod, and that's it. Uh, my new monitor was uh, 
500 and something euros. Uh, to be completely honest, it wasn't the number one on my list, but I came to the conclusion that I could no longer keep on using the old screen I had. Whoops. So uh, I went ahead and bought it. I'm not regretting it at all. Uh, especially for this game, it's more than enough. Uh, but it is only 60 Hertz. It's not a 144 Hertz or 320 or something. It's it's only 60. Uh, I could have gone uh, a little bit crazier than I did, but that would also have set me back 1500 euros. So um, I'm happy with this one. So welcome to my zoo map. I haven't been here since 136, so it's been a while. I've done two reviews of this map in the past. Uh, my first review was on 131. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so I I bought it on either 130 or 131. I can't remember. Uh, so um, uh, so I had it for a very long time now, and it's always a pleasure coming back to the map. Uh, it's six in the morning, so we have quite a bit of fog, as you can see. Uh, the weather will clear up, but it's going to take a while because, as I said earlier, this is a one-to-one -one scale map. So time isn't moving very quickly. I look a bit foggy. <laughs> uh, it's on my list to buy a new camera as well. Uh, I'm going to pick a uh, 4K um, Logitech, uh, whatever it's called, camera. Uh, they are... Um, there are none to be bought here in Sweden right now. I'll have to wait until uh, the 30th. So in, in two weeks or so, two and a half weeks, uh, I'll have a 4K uh, webcam as well. God knows I... Well, I don't need it, but I want it. <laughs> it's just as foggy on the outside, guys. <laughs> Oh, the beard. Yes, it's uh, it's kind of blue. And that's that's not because of the web camera. It is actually kind of blue. Um, I had a horrible accident. My daughter promised she was going to help me fix that. She hasn't done it yet. Um, when I looked at it in the mirror this morning, it didn't look that blue. But I'm going to agree with you. It, it looks very blue right now. Uh, the sound mod I'm using now is Kirschbaum's Open Pipes mod. Uh, this is not the original, so this is not part of the truck itself. I think. I'm just assuming that Kirschbaum's mod actually works on this engine. I didn't have much time deciding on, um, on using it uh, earlier today. Work is pretty hectic these days. It's blurred. Uh, well, the other screen uh, is way over there, so I, I can't see. Sorry. This is not a Cyrus mod. <laughs> um, I'm kind of allergic to those. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to say this is not the best F10 slash F12 truck out there. It is... A uh, F10-12. Oh, for fuck's sake. Seriously. Hang on. Hang on. I'm... Um... Ah, there we go again. Yeah, I had the buffering myself. I had a buffering myself. 
Uh, it's not going to be better on another PC. Uh, seriously. I need to do something about that. I do not understand why that happens. Uh, after the last stream 12 days ago, I went through every single setting on my router even, and I found one setting on the router that has been changed due to an update of the router. So I changed that back to what it was prior to, um, to the updates. And I thought, hey, that's the problem. Uh, because it was one of the QoS settings. Evidently, that was not the problem here. Um, I'm, I've been having some buffering issues on my TV, on my smart TV, uh, for the last month or so. I'm starting to think this could be a problem with my uh, internet provider. So maybe I should just move to another internet provider. My PC specs, Rupesh, uh, Intel i9-9900K, 32 gigabytes of RAM, two M2 SSD drives, uh, RTX uh, 2080 Ti, the PC isn't a problem. <laughs> I think. Uh, but it's damn frustrating. The only other thing that I could possibly think of is my Streamlabs OBS. Currently version 0.24.1. Yay, Richard! Way to go! Uh, I'm still very, very happy with my Toby Eye Tracker 5. Uh, so happy with it. I was actually planning on doing another video on it just as I revisit now that I've had it for a while. Uh, it is a very, very good eye tracker or head tracker. I'm using it only as a uh, head tracker as well. I never use it as an eye tracker. Uh, but I'm very, very happy with it. Yeah, I gotta say, with the uh, 2020, let's just call it 2020 and everything that has happened in 2020, it's kind of difficult finding or getting new uh, parts for the PC. Uh, webcams, graphics cards, um, monitors. Everything seems to be very limited stock right now. Uh, I'm blaming COVID-19, of course. Maybe I'm wrong there, but it, it certainly feels like... Uh, it's caused by COVID-19. Uh, every time I decided, oh, I want to buy one of whatever, it's out of stock. So that's kind of frustrating. Uh, but the webcams in, in particular, I've been looking for a 4K webcam since June, I think it is. And uh, every time I decided, oh, I'm going to buy one, they're out of stock. They have none. I think we're good. I mean, COVID-19 is more than enough. We don't need a COVID-20 as well. Well, Roadrunner, I'm, I'm kind of hoping I can afford a RTX 3090. That's what I'm aiming for. When I'm upgrading my 2080 Ti, it's going to be for a 3090. <laughs> buffer 19, that would be buffer 20.
No, that's that's another thing. The buffering comes and goes. Uh, when it happens, one of the first thing I check is the um, how much power OBS is using, and it's below two percent the entire time. Uh, there's something else there. <laughs> <laughs> Olaf, I wouldn't be surprised if he actually said that. I don't think he said it, but I wouldn't be surprised if he did. <laughs> what happened during the cat talk? I can't remember. <laughs> Something bad happened. Oops, come on! Let's see, it's almost half past seven. The fog... Well, I hope it disappears soon. I'm getting tired of fog now. That's one of the great things about 1 to 19 scale maps. If you're unhappy with a certain type of weather, it, it's going to be gone in IRL 10 minutes or less. Not so on a one-to-one -one scale map. You're going back into uh, lockdown again, Olaf. I'm sorry to hear that. I know it's not a comfort. Uh, we're doing that here in Sweden as well, in, in um, some parts of the country, apparently. Or at least they are warning that they will put certain parts of the country under lockdown. So not the entire country, just parts of it. Probably Stockholm is going to be one of the first. Hi, Malgorzata. Welcome. Welcome to the Czech Republic. And the city of Nevojice? Nevojiz? Ne Nejuvice, probably. I do apologize for killing that name. <laughs> I'm sure that you're the first ever mango to say <laughs> could David Cameron come back <laughs> you elected him dude um, I wish you hadn't done that Uh, hi Surav, yes, it's been 12 days since the last live stream, so it's about time, and I'm gonna try to do better this week. Uh, I'm gonna try to stream at least uh, three times this week. Today, Tuesday, then again on Thursday, and then on Saturday. Hi Dimitris from Greece, welcome to you as well. And everyone else who just joined, thank you for being here, I hope you're enjoying the stream. And if you are, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, subscribe as well. And um, yeah, a kitten dies every time you don't subscribe. Oh, that's right. You didn't elect him, Mango. I've now I really feel sorry for you. I forgot about that. Hi Jim Greaves, welcome to you as well. And Lumpy. I'm not using any graphics mods whatsoever. Panda in the house, welcome Panda. Yeah, we're gonna stay away from politics. 
even though it's going to be very, very difficult over the next 30 days. Um, but I'm doing my best. <laughs> so no graphics mods. Uh, everything I'm using here, you'll find it in the video description. Links to the map, links to my graphic settings, links to that device that makes me able to turn my head around like that and make you all dizzy. All of it's found in the video description. <laughs> Olaf has reached the Mercedes level as a member. Thinks you should ban Mercedes. <laughs> You're just jealous. I've, I've been a Mercedes fan for 10, 15 years now. Uh, uh -uh. We shall not ban Mercedes. And with that said, we're not going to talk about Formula 1 anymore. We risk getting more thumbs down if we do. I said 10, 15 years, Mango. <laughs> and back then they were called McLaren Mercedes, I think. You do know that there's a truck in front of the bus, right? So I don't really see a point in overtaking the bus. And I don't think this truck is capable of doing it either. Yeah, McLaren Mercedes will be back next year and, and that's a good thing. I have not been able to uh, stay away from COVID-19. I did have it um, back in, I think it was May, very early anyway. Or, or at least I think it was. Back then you couldn't really test it here in Sweden. Uh, so I never got um, uh, a confirmation on that. Uh, traffic, sh I should also mention that traffic is set to 3 on this map. Now, I'm not using any traffic mods, uh, just uh, console setting traffic 3. And I'm flooring it, trying to overtake the bus. Uh, still flooring it. Not a lot happening. There we go. Uh, this isn't gonna work. Uh, no, that's not gonna work. Okay, I'm not gonna try that again. Oh well, at least I tried. <laughs> Jump over it. Now <laughs> oh, we need to clear the fog first at least. I mean, I can't see more than perhaps a hundred meters in front of me.
Yeah, Ducky is left behind because this truck didn't support Sizzle. So uh, no Ducky this time, unfortunately. Well, change lanes then. Okay. He's not going to change lanes. Uh, I'll do better next time. Ducky will be with us on Thursday. Right now I'm only carrying him with me in my heart. It's better than nothing. How do you know that's a British bus? I'm never gonna get past him. Let's see, uh, we started at 53 kilometers to go. Now we're down to 33. So that's probably at least another half an hour before we reach our destination. I hope it's not a problem for you that I set some YouTube links from your combo map mods in your my own in my own streams. Uh, no, I have no problems with that. <laughs> oh, let's see. Finally, he's gone. Goodbye, Mr. Bus Driver. Yeah, he started indicating th five minutes ago. <laughs> How you like the new user interface on 139? If you've seen it, it's quite different from uh, the uh, user interface on uh, 138. Uh, I kind of like it in many ways. There's also a lot of problems with it and I'm not talking about bugs. I'm talking about actual annoying problems with it. Um, I'll do a video about all those annoying things I don't like about it, but there is a ton of things to like about it as well. My favorite thing is that you can now see seven uh, different profiles at the same time when you're scrolling through the list of um, profiles. Way better than the old three uh, profiles at the time. Windows 10 end of life is 2025. Where did you hear that, Bob? That's still five years from now. A lot of things can happen. But I didn't think they would actually move away. I, I mean, five years ago they said that Windows 10 is going to be the last time they actually call their operating system, give it a number. Uh, and just continue to update it like forever. Microsoft TechNet completely missed that. I'm not working on the Microsoft products anymore, Bob, so I'm, I'm completely out of the loop. Believe it or not, uh, I work on IBM i these days. For real, IBM i AS400. <laughs> And there's no end of life on AS400. End of life for ETS2. Probably uh, 2030, literally, Olaf, unless the changes that Microsoft makes uh, forces SES to create a newer version. 
uh, say around 2025. Oh, Bob is, <laughs> yeah, A is 400 from the 60s. Obviously, we're not running the same code as we did back in the 60s. Um, and I should also mention that I, I'm, I'm not a programmer, not on the AS400 at least. Um, I'm a scrum master, so my team works on AS400 or IBM I. And it's still being updated. It's it's incredible. For 60 years, they've continued to update it. Hi, Adrian. Welcome. Hopefully, they won't call it ETS3. They will hopefully just call it uh, uh, TS. That's Truck Simulator not anything else um, and scrap both ETS2 and ATS and just cram it into one truck simulator hopefully <laughs> Olaf, are we still talking about truck simulator as in Asian truck simulator or are we talking about something else? <laughs> in either case, I'm not for it. I just want a TS <laughs> as in truck simulator. <laughs> Toast! <laughs> Welcome, buddy. <laughs> yeah, let's have a look at the map, see where we are. Uh, I'm going to completely destroy a couple of city names here. We just got past uh, Kususitsha and uh, we're heading toward uh, Strilki. And I really want to do this detour actually. Why can't I do that? Oh, never mind then. Uh, on our way to the city of um, <laughs> Uherske Radiste. <laughs> My bad, sorry. Mike, I'm doing very well, thank you. And uh, welcome to you as well, Dominic, Cruz, everyone else who just joined. I hope you're enjoying the stream. If you are, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't also already subscribe as well. God damn it. Where's the majority of my viewers subscribed from? They are from, uh, let's see, they're from uh, the UK, Germany, uh, Netherlands, well, Europe, of course, a lot of countries in Europe. Uh, but most of them are actually from the UK. Unless you look at my ATS streams, then they're from the US. Nothing weird about that, really. Vombatia, of course. <laughs> uh, Panda, you're not the only one. We're all waiting for my map. I really need that map now. We all do. Mike from the United States watching an ETS2 video or stream. Those who are from Vombatia only need to press W. Uh, Mike, any pointers on that? Um, Let's see, there's an updated version of uh, Canadream, so if you're using the coast-to-coast -coast version, you don't need the um, uh, toll gate fix if you upgrade to the uh, latest version of uh, Canadream. <laughs> oh my god, the Pope is here! Your Excellency, thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. God bless and all of that stuff. You had buffering again, Mango? 
Uh, welcome, Steve. Uh, I'm doing very well, thank you. Uh, how are you doing? Oh! Seriously, dude. What? <laughs> uh, nine ball. Uh, yes, the uh, if you zoom in and the game crashes, yes, uh, no wonder you're not using the background map. I'm pretty sure of that. Come on! This truck actually have 400 horses, believe it or not. Still struggling despite only carrying 51 tons. Mm. Uh, whoops! Look at the road, stupid. Can't only look at the uh, chats. Uh, this the bus? Uh, no, Thanos. I don't think I have. Should I have a look at it? If it has a Scania bus, I really need to take a look at it. Uh, Steve, the link to the truck, the link to everything is found in the video description. Oh, come on. We're doing less than 30 kilometers an hour. Uh, this is gonna take a while. Oh, hang on. Yeah, Thanos, I've seen something about that. They're gonna release that in 2021, right? Uh, I have seen it. I'm not gonna say I agree that the graphics looks insane. It, it definitely looks better than Fernbus. But, yeah, we're still a long way from 2021, aren't we? It is 51 tons, but it's 400 Swedish horses, so it should be faster than this. Come on! English horses are... Um, well, if this is a V8, right? So on the, in an English engine, they only work on the left side. So it's, it's actually a, a four-stroke instead of an... Sorry, four cylinder instead of eight. Now these are proper 400 horses. Uh, come on, we're doing almost 25. This is gonna take forever. Uh, is the magic crazy roundabout located in the um, capital? Olaf, if it is, I have seen it. Uh, then I have seen it. Uh, the entire capital looks just fantastic. As you would expect, of course, from uh, my godness. I can't wait to uh, to try that map out with the capital in place. Uh, the FPS drops. I'm not really sure. Uh, it's not caused by the truck. I'm going to say bad optimization of... Uh, of this map for 138 
Uh, it is a beta version for 138. Uh, so just bad optimization. <laughs> bad my you. <laughs> you had buffering? Seriously? Oh, God. I'm getting desperate about it. Yeah, hopefully there won't be a ETS2. Hopefully there will be a truck simulator period. Uh, but my feeling is that we're going to have to wait at least five years before we see ETS3 or truck simulator three or whatever they're gonna call it step on the gas i'm flooring it dude i'm doing everything i can here i'm flooring it <laughs> simulator that works why do you want to limit it to just the world how about the universe don't call it world truck simulator we want to be able to haul on mars in 2025 we will probably have a settlement there so we're gonna to need to do some hauling on Mars as well. Uh, the hill isn't that steep, Cruz, uh, but 51 tons behind me and a 400 horsepower engine from 1977 in front of me. <laughs> the lag would be about 30 minutes, I think. I think the um, uh, I think there's a 30 minute delay to, to Mars. Not that I've been there, but so I've heard. I have no idea, Mango. I. I would say you need to go for the SKRS, send it to me for testing, and then I'll send it over to you again uh, after approval. Although there is a slight risk that I will never approve it. <laughs> if you do, send it to me. No, Lucas, you don't want to haul uh, around Europe on a one-to-one -one scale map. That would be absolutely horrible. I mean, what, is, what would the streams look like? Today we're going from Stockholm to Södertälje. Uh, it's going to be a three-hour live stream because we have um, a lot of traffic. Oh! Poof. Yeah, I'm going to send it to you after this stream, Mango. If you send me the SKRS, I'll be happy to share my address with you. Now this is 400 very masculine Swedish horses. But they are from the 70s, so they're getting kind of old. 45, 6, 7 years old. <laughs> and a hair dye removal kit. <laughs> uh, I don't think I speak Swedish with an accent. Well, I do. Uh, those who know me or don't know me uh, thinks that I come from northern Sweden. When I actually come from Norway. But my accent is kind of uh, similar to that of the... Uh, Northern Swedes. <laughs> the 770, yes, yes, Mango, I did see it. I do hope that uh, ETS2 gets updated for it as well. Uh, probably will. There's there's already a mod for it. I'm pretty sure they just made it 770 horsepower just to piss 
Volvo off. Uh, Cruz, what is buffering? Not the live stream. I hope. Uh, yes, I would, Lucas. I would do a, a... Well, in a minivan. In a truck, I'd definitely do it. Our Boo 6 games, we know about uh, Poland rebuilding. Uh, we do know about it. Thank you, Korea. Uh, and uh, Thanos. I'm kind of nervous about buffering. <laughs> for obvious reasons dude i'm not gonna stop and help you speaking of minivans whoa that's bad well still not gonna stop cheese and ham welcome Uh, Steve, I mean, uh, the Czech Republic. Let's have a look at the map again. Just outside of Stare Hutea. <laughs> Definitely not how we pronounce it. Here's the map. There's plenty of more of the Czech Republic to, uh, to map. But of course, this is on the one-to-one -one scale. No, Eric, this is a standalone map, one-to-one -one scale. Do not work with um, pro mods or any other mods. Maybe in the future with the Slovakia map, honestly. Maybe. Uh, I did a stream on the Hungary map, Mango, just two months ago. It's a little bit early to do a revisit of that, isn't it? <laughs> this doesn't even look like South America. <laughs> it is still foggy. It's only seven in the morning. That's one of the problems, if you like, with a one-to-one -one scale map. Time is moving very slowly. <laughs> uh, there's nothing new about Siber map just yet. I literally checked the um, vk.com page every morning no news other than some uh, live stream mapping uh, made by the creator uh, once a week or something but there are no updates yet and we won't see any until at least after the release of 139 and quite possibly not until say december or even january Dalton Elliot Mango. <laughs> uh, God, I did a 16 hour live stream on Dalton Elliot Highway. Uh, driving through all of it. And that was probably four months ago. I can still remember how I was feeling afterwards. I'm not going to do it again as long as I still remember that. <laughs> There's no risk of me doing another Dalton Elliott Highway in in a long time. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> that was 16 very interesting hours, but uh, nah, not again. Uh, 
extreme weather mod does that and evidently Maju map adds very nice fog all by itself. I'm not using any graphics mods whatsoever. <laughs> With a one horsepower Zill. <laughs> uh, well, during Christmas I will haul through a lot of uh, of Russia actually. Uh, I've decided that it is a tradition to do a extremely long haul once a year. Uh, did that last Christmas and I'm gonna do it this Christmas as well. Last Christmas I did 25,000 kilometers on Ross through Europe and onto the China map. This year I'm gonna do it through Ross, Europe and EAA and it's gonna be 28,000 kilometers. Um, can't say exactly when I'm gonna start doing that but uh, we're gonna spend at least 10 hours on on Ross for that stream well I'm not doing the extremely long run because of the beauty of the maps it's it's all about making the longest possible haul that's all it's about. Without putting a lot of markers on the map, uh, obviously. So 28,000 kilometers, and that is without doing any... Um, any... Um, uh, changes to the route. It's just what the game itself thinks is the best route. Hi, Ghost Rider! Yeah, maybe we should have started at 9 in the morning instead. We can change the time when we get to our destination. Yeah, uh, Richard, I agree with you. It was a great start that you can now see them on the map and see where they are on the map. That's a good start, but I, I totally agree with you. It would be nice if they... And they won't need a DLC for it, but an update of the game that allows you to actually meet them in traffic would be nice. Especially for those who have like 400, 500 employees. I don't think I have more than the, perhaps 50 on on one or perhaps two of my profiles on the rest of them i either don't have any employees at all or just a handful of employees so i guess i wouldn't meet them anyway but but maybe have been able to see them or meeting them in traffic would be um, enough for me to actually start getting some employees Uh, Ghost Rider, uh, I will definitely get Colorado no later than the day of release. Uh, I literally have all the DLCs. I've bought every single one of them, including the the skin DLCs, the, the country DLCs. There's like 50 of those. I, I have them as well. I bought everything. So, of course, I'll buy Colorado as well. Hi, Abby. Uh, what you've missed? Uh, a lot of fog. You missed a lot of fog. Uh, other than that, you haven't really missed much. No, um, no accidents, no teleports, no uh, getting into trouble yet. But you can play 035, I don't know what that means. Uh, we are, let's see. Uh, Eleven kilometers from our targets. Once we get there, 
I'm going to change the time of day to uh, uh, say nine o'clock so we don't have this fog. And I do think that the fog could have something to do with the um, the lower FPS we're seeing. Uh, but it's because it's not something I've seen on... Uh, well, I haven't played on this map since 136. But I can't say that I've seen it before. What? Oh, red light. Well, Lucas, if I could only play one, play the first release version of Euro Truck for a day, would I play it? it it's better than nothing, so yes, of course I would. Uh, no rain, uh, but that is quite possibly because I've set the possibility of, or probability of rain to more or less zero. Uh, welcome, Bran, from Russia, or is it Vadim? No, it's not Vadim. Uh, Steve, for the new DLCs, there are two coming out, Iberia and Colorado. Colorado will probably be out a little bit before uh, Iberia, a week or two. Uh, quite possibly in a month. It's Vlad. Welcome, Vlad, and Fat Al, and everyone else just joined. Thanks for being here. Yeah, we can't see much, but we're going to change that in uh, 10 kilometers. Uh, Vlad, I can see that you asked something and mentioned my name. I have no idea what you asked. Sorry about that. Do we have a translator in the house? Uh, Franco, actually, uh, I've done streams on Twitch, uh, but you, my audience, my subscribers, kindly asked me to come back to YouTube instead, so um, here I am. And that's why, I'm, honestly, why I'm not doing any live streaming on Twitch. Oh, thank you, Thanos. Uh, I'm doing very well. Thank you very much, Vlad. I hope you're doing well as well. Well as well? What's that? Well as well. You're going back to boarding school, Dennis. You're not allowed to watch YouTube on in boarding school. What a horrible school. Well, uh, there are things... I would also prefer Twitch in some ways, especially the uh, clip functionality. Uh, because once every, I'm gonna say every 50 hours of streaming, I actually by accident say something funny. Uh, would be nice to make a uh, video of those few funny things sometime uh, and that's pretty easy with uh, Twitch yeah um, I wish I could do Twitch as well I wish the um, I wish I didn't have a full-time job that is taking a little bit more than full time right now because I'm starting up a new team at work but yeah I'd, I'd like to do some um, some Twitch as well yeah that's one of the reasons I also like uh, YouTube Mango uh, but I guess what I could do is start doing the uh, streams on both services at the same time 
I just gotta fix that buffering problem I've seen from time to time. Yeah, uh, I'm not really sure I want to do three different platforms at the same time, but definitely doing YouTube and Twitch at the same time is very possible. The only problem again is the uh, is the buffering issue I'm seeing. Uh, I really don't know why what's causing it. Um, But I'm starting to thinking it could have something to do with my internet provider. I've checked everything else. Ooh. Uh, yes, Richard, I work as a scrum master. Uh, my company is implementing uh, agile uh, we're starting to work agile at, at my company and uh, for that I am a scrum master. Uh, I've been a scrum master for three years. So I'm starting up a new team started about a year ago with this team uh, preparing it and uh, now we're going live. We've been live for about a month and um, well it's a lot of work in the beginning. Uh, <laughs> well, only the Swedes would understand which internet provider I have come hem. Uh, but I also have access to another one, Telia. So I'm thinking about moving to Telia instead. Uh, the cost is about the same anyway. Uh, but yeah. Perhaps I at least should try that out and see how that works. Where's that helicopter? There's a helicopter here, I can't see it. Hmm. Oh well. Uh, Flight Sim 2020, yeah, I've been playing a little bit. Uh, obviously no live streams. <laughs> Uh, we'll do live streams once I have an RTX 3090 Ti. Until then, no live streams. I wonder if uh, Squirrel up... There's the helicopter. I wonder if Squirrel's updated already to a 3090 because he did a live stream the other day on, on uh, Flight Sim 2020. Well, Stefu, thank you for being here. Uh, good luck at the gym. Good luck indeed. Please get a 3080. I just said I want to buy a 3090. That's supposed to be even better than a 3080. Good for you, Cheese and Ham, and I do hope it's a PC a workstation, not a laptop. All makes, always makes me sad when people buy laptops for gaming. There's nothing wrong in owning a laptop, of course, but... I mean, for gaming, you don't let, get a lot of buck for your money. Uh, 
Let's see, I think we're here now. Yeah. Almost at least. Well, if you have a pre-built PC from 2014, you can't go wrong regardless of what hardware he buys or you buy for your PC. Three hundred pounds, uh, that's not a lot of money. Especially not for a gaming PC. <laughs> you're still on Voodoo too. <laughs> no, you're not. But um, I like the reference. You just have to wait there, buddy! That was close. I don't know Argos. I know Targos, but that's something different. Oh damn, the fog is getting worse, it feels like. Curry's PC world? <laughs> Sounds like serious business. <laughs> uh, it's probably my fault, Cheese and Ham. Obviously, I'm gonna take full responsibility for it. It's a UK brand and they call it curry. Ah. Okay. I mean, what are you going to do? You got you, you should be able to trust the uh, ads, right? What is going on here? Come on. Ah. Uh. Now I'm probably going to get into problems. Or maybe not. I never heard of curries, probably for a good reason. I'm sure it's a fine shop, but uh, anyway. Oh, my favorite dealer. Not. Let's see now. That's the first haul of the night. We're gonna do one more. At least one more. The 3090 is here in Sweden, it's around 2000 euros. Uh, and you can't get it. You may order it, but they won't ship it in another four weeks or something.
let's see. There we go. Turn it around and then we're off to do the next one. I'm gonna have to concentrate for this. Bear with me. I'll watch the chats after I've parked it. I think I... No, actually we're good. We're good. There we go. Yeah, 2000 euros. Uh, the RTX 2080 Ti, when I bought that, that was like 1500 euros. So it's not a huge step up from 1500 to 2000. Um, but of course, it's a lot of money. We're going to change the time of day. Let's see if we can get rid of the fog for starters. Uh, let's change it to, um, to 10 o'clock. Yeah, that cleared it. Excellent. Now let's find some cargo. Before we do... So, we've done this route here. So I'm thinking doing something up to Hulin or Krasjani or Zalinice. Whatever it's called. See if we can find something. No, 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 no. Let's try something from here to no, 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 no. There is one city down here, but it's still work in progress. There's no point in going trying to do anything down there. So just disregard uh, Bratislava. Uh, let's see, do we have anything over here perhaps? No, 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 no. No, no, no. Annoying. Seriously? Nothing. I think, okay, we're going to start in Hulin instead. Let's see. Oh, uh, yeah, that kind of works. Ugh. Too far. That's going to take uh, probably two hours. That's even worse. That absolutely works. Uh, let's Let's do that. It's only 17 tons. I'm kind of tempted on doing this. Um, I'm kind of tempted on doing this. Uh, simply because it's 61 tons. Do it, he says. Um, we're going to do this one then. The locomotive from Hulin. Let's see if we can teleport. Now it says lumber. Uh, make up your mind. You want to do lumber or you want to do um, 61 tons? No locomotive. Lumber, because it's cooler. Okay, we're going to do lumber instead. Um. <laughs> lumber, or you will call the police. Um. I don't want the police to get involved. Let's see. 
I'm gonna do lumber instead. Uh, there it is. Well, why do I teleport? I can. I mean, I can drive over there. It's not that far. We're not going to do locomotives. We have decided on doing this, and I think this is where I'm... <laughs> the Polizia men will no longer be at your door. Thank you for your cooperation. Ah! Oh, made it. There we are. Let's see now. Um, what do we have? That's the color options. Um, this one is the prettiest. Matches my truck even. 